Hey guys, in this boolean tutorial, we're just going to brush up a little bit and we're going to do a boolean on some text. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay some text down. Let's get a new mesh and we'll put our text in our new mesh. I'm just going to do one letter. I'm going to use the letter L. And there we go. Click and apply it. So let's go ahead and pull this sucker up. Now, I know you guys have been through several parts of my booleans already, so I'm moving pretty quick. I figure you guys know what I'm doing here. So now let's give this text a little bit of thickness. I'm going to run, you know, the thicken tool on this, or you can extrude it, or whatever you want to do it. Just move shift, whichever. Okay, now I have this running through that square there. Okay, so like our other videos, we're going to select our mesh in the foreground. Mesh edit, boolean, subtract. We can now delete our text mesh. Not duplicate it, but delete it. <laughs> and now we're left with this. Okay? So far, so good. But if we go to sub D mode, it folds up on itself like always. So we need to, of course, slice this up. And we're going to do that with our tried and true C key or the edge slice. Let's go ahead and Control 1 and toggle the grid off. And let's go ahead and hit the C key and let's run some elementary slices in here from this corner to this corner. This corner to this corner. This corner to this corner. Let's go around. Now, do this side now. The subdivision algorithm inside of Modo will probably do most of our work for us as far as keeping it in quads. Okay. Now we've done this. Let's go ahead and hit our tab key. Yeah holds a little bit better than it did but still not great so now we've got to run an edge slice from here this little corner here let's take it up to here and around and back to there and then we're going to take this one here up to about let's split it in the middle like that we'll take this around and we'll connect it down to there Okay, now let's go to polygon mode and let's select a couple here. Let's run Alt C or our loop slice, count of two, symmetry, and let's put them in about like that. Now, as you can see, we're trying to hold our shape a little more, but we're going to need to put in some more cuts. You need to think of our sub D surface as a surface under tension. It's like somebody's grabbing it and just pulled it real tight. Let's go and run some loop slices around the inside, count of two, okay? So we'll select here and here. I'm going to select here, 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 here. Alt C. This time I'm going to use slice selected checkbox and click. That way we just slice the ones we have selected. And now we have those running down through there like that. Now let's go to our front mode and let's use our shift C and lay down some slices, okay? And we hit shift C and I'm going to lay down one right through there, just like we do on normal booleans, right through here. I'm going to put one right down this way. Of course, we'll have to join our points, as we always have. Right down this way. Let's try to put one right here. Let's put another one right there. Let's do one more. That looks pretty good there. Let's put one there. Heck, let's even put one down this way. And let's put one down this way. Like so. Okay. And, oh, I see one more. We can do one right here. Like so. Now let's go to our vertices, vertices and let's go in here and try to join some of these. Here to here. Join that to that, like that. Let's go on over to this side. Like so. That was a join now. Let's go here. join these. Now there's several ways you can go about doing this. You don't have to do it this way. Okay. This is just how I'm doing it this time around. Join those. Let's go ahead and down here and join these. These down here in the corner. And we don't want to join it that way. We want to join it this way. Remember, it joins in the direction that you grab your points. Let's 
Let's get in close here on this one so we can see it because we run these points pretty close to one another. Like so. Okay. Let's go around to the back. And let's see what we got here on this side. We need a few points we need joined on the back side. Not quite as many as on the front. But still, it's nice to go ahead and clean up your geometry while you're at it. It's never a bad idea to get in the process of cleaning up your geometry. A lot of people really take concern about their geometry and worrying about it messing up and stuff. And at first, you need not be too worried about that. You just need to get your model looking right. You can worry about all that other stuff later, especially for you beginners. That's just my opinion. Some people might tell you completely different. Okay, let's go back to our perspective mode and look and see what we got here. Not too bad. Tab key. Now you can see our shape is trying to start holding. Now we can do good. this. Do one of several things here. We can bevel or we can add some edge weights but let's go back to our front mode and let's look and see here it looks to me like we can run some more slices maybe right down through here like this another one on this side through here like this let's go to our edge mode I'm going to select this edge and move it over just a little like so That'll help hold that top a lot tighter there. And it looks like we still need to run another one right through here, like so. And that's going to help hold that corner there. Okay. Let's run one right up through here like this. Like that. That'll help hold that a little bit. As you can see, now our shape is coming into play a little bit. Let's run one right through here. Like so. Now that's holding there like that. Okay. Let's go back to perspective. Now you can see we're getting a good tight hold there. If we look at our lists, let me just close some of these ones down. You'll see here we have some tries in our scene okay and we have some ingons in our scene so let's go ahead and hit the D key to subdivide that once tab key control one toggle wireframe and now as you can see we have a boolean text letter and if you can look over here everything is all quads it's high poly count but everything is all quads, everything is tight, and everything looks really good. Okay. We load it up in our preview here. Let's let's give it a black black surrounding. And we can see here that our boolean looks nice. And that's how you boolean text. You just gotta take your time, cut the corners, use your subdivide, and um Put your slices in there close to all your edges. Make sure you don't miss any. Okay? You can see how nice and tight that is right there. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching this Boolean on text. And um, we'll see you in the next one.